Greetings again, this is Dr. Bill Watt, and I want to talk about the Big Daddy Archwire. I didn't start calling it that, it's just an overlay, large overlay archwire, but somebody in this class started calling them Big Daddy Arches, and the name stuck, and so we just continued to use it. And uh, the Big Daddy Wire, we use an old of 0.040 or 0 0.36, 036 or a 0 0.030 wire. And uh, those three wires sufficient, give us a sufficient, sufficient lateral expansion in there. This is where you really need them. Let me get, show this and get going with the uh, making of it. Now these I, I just talk about the 036 or the 040, and if you're real chicken and you want to start, you could do, use an 030. In other words, it's 6,000 smaller than that right there, see. And this is just a stainless steel wire. This is a wire you can just buy them by, uh, I think, you 14 inch uh, wires. And you cut them half in two, and each wire will make a separate arch wire for you, like that. And you, you can take these wires now, and uh, we bend them over something about the size of a broom handle, like that. And this is a torquing turret. We just use the handle of it, and we'll bend that wire over there and bring it back together again. And we bend it down like that, and you've got to hold it down in place and bend one side around until they come around and they touch like that. And now you undo that. You need to get your wire in the middle when you start out so this will spring out and it will be kind of like that when you get out of it there. So now the wire has this bend in it right here. Now. You make this wire fit the teeth that you're going to go over. You put it over there and it fits it. It's about the same size as the teeth and everything. And now you, on the upper ones, we put them in the headgear tubes. And the lower ones, we have to make a drop down and come up and hook them like that on the, on the lower ones. Now you make them fit and then you spread this wire out you just and you can spread it out as much as you want to i mean you get a lot of force in there you can hold one side and take a dotrix gauge and push it against the other side and it'll tell you how many ounces of force it takes to squeeze that down to the size of the teeth and now it's going to have effect on the molars more than it does on the bicuspids and everything. So sometimes you leave a gap between the bicuspids and you tie them a little hard, harder and it feels more force in the bicuspid area so you can, you don't have to expand the case and just like that it'll expand the bicuspids at the same time. You tie them tighter so that takes the force more on the bicuspid areas. Now when you expand teeth like this, the, the roots of the teeth are in the bone structure. And so the tooth would just tilt out like this. And the bone, the root would go in if you do it. So you got to put root torque in the teeth when you use a big daddy arch if you expand them very much at all. And you do not try to expand with this wire, but you expand with a rectangular wire. And I'm going to show how to put that progressive torque in the, rec in the rectangular wire. All right, this is a uh, this is an intruding arch uh, that we put in here some way or another. That's uh, got this new. This is this is where we pull these teeth down. We intrude that. Uh, well, that's not a big daddy wire. Now here is the large wire. We come in on top. If it's on the upper arch wire, we have headgear tubes. 
And so you're going to run this into the headgear tubes out here and you make it fit to start with and then you expand this on out and it'll bring you bring both sides will be the same if you pull this up to where it's going to be and push this in with a doctor's gauge and you can put whatever lateral force you want on there and you can expand anybody I don't give a dirt how old they are or whatever you can put that on there but you've got to put the buckle root torque in or the what we call uh, progressive torque you know where we bend the wire and put it over first I'll have to show you how to do that in another video but you put that on there because if you just go across with this you pull it over this tooth will lead out like that but the root will go back to the other direction and so you have to put put this buckle root torque and the rectangular wire in there before you really expand now if you got somebody let me kind of go back over here and show you a, a deal now say somebody has some uh, upper teeth and the molars are kind of tilted in like this. If the motor teeth are kind of tilted in and you start to expand them, the teeth are in the bone, the roots are going to move this way a little bit and the crown will move the other direction right here. And that way you wouldn't need anything. But that's not the way most of them are. Sometimes you just need a little bit. You can just expand this out and it'll bring those teeth out. It'll bring the roots back a little bit and the crown over a little bit and the tooth will be straight up and down in the area. Now sometimes mouth breathers where they didn't get enough force with the tongue over here then the lower teeth will be out wider than the upper teeth. That might go. But most of the time when you do some real expansion of the teeth you're going to have to put buckle root torque in there in a rectangular wire. In other words, if you go back to your motor you're going to bracket out like this. You have to have buckle root torque in there. And if you kind of figure it out torque what you want is bend your hand down like that and it'll be the this will be like the bracket slot. And if I stick this in here, if I I have to force this up, it's wanting to be back here. But I force it up and bring it in here, then it's gonna to tend to do the tooth this way. But the roots in the bone, the crowns in the air, and if you just have the force of the lateral force of the arch wire it'll overpower it and it'll move the crown lingual. In other words, you'll have lingual crown torque instead of buckle root torque. So you've got to have something bigger. And that's why we, I use those light arch wires to put torque in and I needed something to really beef them up so we'd get the lateral. And that's why I started using these large wires years ago back here. And we found we didn't have to get on inside here. We can do anything we want to from outside with these large wires like that. You can get any amount of force you want. But if you've got the tooth straight up and down in here and you start to bring it out here, you've got to put this torque. It, the wire will be like that. You bring it up, slip it in here, it tends to do this to the tooth, but if you didn't have anything out here instead of the root, in other words, you build this up this way. Now this would be an upper one, I'm sorry. Now if we're on a, on a lower arch, let me go back here and erase that. And uh, I'm gonna erase that. Now, if we're on the lower arch, say like this, and now we've got the roots of the tooth down in this fashion, and we've got uh, a root over here, 
to the roots of the station. And we want to expand, we want to move these teeth in this direction. We want to expand those lower teeth. Now your bracket slot would be sticking out something like that. Not a very good bracket slot. Now you got the bracket and everything, you got to visualize right in here. So we take a wire going back in here. What would we have to do to this to get it to force the roots in? So as we're going to pull the crown out, these roots are going to tend to go in this direction. So we want the roots to go in this direction. So we have to come in here and figure out what would we have to do to, to get that out. So if you put your hands up like that, and I have to bend this down to slip it in here, then that would make the, crowd, the root go back. So the progressive root torque would be in that direction. I pull that down, insert it. If it had nothing else in there, it's going to tend to move the root out here, but the root's in the bone, and the bone doesn't go, so the crown would move in this direction. And you, that's not what you want. You want this to go. So we got to tie this big wire out here and hook it to that, and it won't let the crown go in, but as it brings the root, it would bring the crown out alone, and the roots go in. But then your buccal root torque will carry the root in, and you'll end up with the tooth. You, you'll move the tooth out, and the root will go with the big daddy arch. And that's the way you expand. And when you go with upper teeth, the torque is different. And you've got to think about torquing these roots in like this, I'm sorry. And you have a third root on them, and you band out here, and you want those roots to go out, so you'd have to have it down. You, in other words, your torque would be like this at the end. You twist it this way. Now I have to force it up so it's time to go that way. Down here, you go this way, and then you have to bring it down. It'll bring the root, you bring it down, it'll tend to pick it up and bring the root back. Okay, you need to know that if you're going to bend these large wires and put them in somebody's mouth. So, you cannot torque with this big round wire. It'll go to, it'll, you can bring anybody out. I mean, they can be 80 years old and you can put that on there and put the buckle root torque and just give it gradual time and it'll expand the arches on old people as well as young people. And that is not being taught to our people. Adult orthodontics is going begging. I mean, there's just a world of it out there. But people have to have a little ingenuity and figure it out how it has lost teeth and ground off teeth and all kinds of problems. You mix in there, but in the videos we've covered every kind of tooth I can think about in there. If you just go back and study them, you can move older people's teeth. And that is just a big bunch of uh, malarkey without telling you the teeth won't move, the bone won't move. It'll move on anybody as long as they're alive. Okay, and you can take a big daddy arch like that and do just turn near anything you want. You can expand these teeth in here if you run this out and bring it back in here. And now when you squeeze it out, you come back, you got a gap here, you tie these teeth tight and that takes most of the pressure instead of putting the pressure back here at the molar, you put it where you want to expand and you can expand the front. But the things don't do much out here in the front teeth. If you want to separate the palate, then you've got to put the palatal separator in and something go against these teeth and then put something between the centrals to spread them and you, we have spread palatal separators on people in their 30s and some of them in their 40s, their early 40s. Right, well, that wasn't what we were talking about 
in this stone. All right, there is the, you build, you take your wax pattern and you bend it and on the, on the big daddy wire you use a young plier. Uh, and the young plier has real strong points out here and we use that to bend the loops in the big daddy wire. Now you take that, you put this where you want that, and you can bend it and use this end of the wire up, like here. And if this, this is a lower arch, you bend that up. Now up arch, we put a little dog leg in like that, and then put this in the uh, tube, you know, of the upper. That brings it down where it gets it out of the way of our brackets. And we bend an upper one like that. Now you can you can put that in the see this is the upper arch that's laying down and we bent this in and then come up goes out around and comes down and up and back in like that and now you can expand this out where you want it and if you're gonna do it with this speed you gotta put put an extension back here where you bring this tooth up it's really better you band this tooth back here and then run your arch wire through here with your buckle root dart <coughs> in the arch wire. And that will carry everything out. You don't need much torque up here, so you put progressive root torque. I'm going to have to talk about that later. Now that's the upper one. We take it and expand it out. And now we put it in over here, and you push in. And you want to know how much force you got? Take your doctor's gauge and put it in there, push on it, and it'll tell you. It may take 14 ounces to bring it over here. Well, that'll be 14. It'll be the same on both sides, see? And so this is going to spread out like mad up here with that much force. If you've got an old 4 wire, you better just start off kind of small or put an 036 or something in it and watch what it does. And, but you've got to have the rectangular wire in here with a buckle root torque on it. And the way you figure out that, you look at the tooth where you want this tooth to go and how would they have to do the torque. You'd have it here. Now they have to bend it up so it wants to go back here. So you stick it in there and then it, it makes the roots go that way. But the lateral wire the small arch wire does not have enough lateral force. The crown would go this way. So we put something that won't let the crown go. So we carry the crown and the root buckle at the same time. And that's what you do. You need to expand the airway on older people that have narrow f in cross bites and stuff like that. And you can't get the sutures to separate, but you can separate, you can expand the palate on anybody. And I've got people that were nearly 90 years old where we've expanded the palate uh, like that. So anyway, this, this is the upper, and that's why we tie it back in there. And we wrap it in the front. It does very little out here. It expands the posterior. Now, on the lower, you come around and you mark this as you go down with it, go under it, and come up and bend it, and then you mash that together and you pull that in. Now, I tie that to the arch wire. Now, it's going to bring this, these teeth out all the way back in here. So, we need to have this, needs to be a rectangular wire with buckle root torque and it'll have force to carry the roots and the crown out. Now this round wire would not do that. You've got to have the, put your torque with the, with the rectangular wire in here. And the, now if you expand this with this, all of them are going to expand. I don't care if you tie the big dad in, it'll always expand. But you've got to have torque built into your regular arch wire to get it to work. So it is, it is just unreal the amount of work you can do with this 
Big Daddy Oratoire. And that's the way we put that deal in the food. We flip it off there. And this is a heavy piece of wire. We put it in a trough like that and we crush it down. And now we've got it like that. And we're going to tie this between the two molars. There, one molar would be here, one molar would be here, the wire would be in here. And we drop it down, come up here and tie that to the arch wire that's right between there. And now you need the torque in these teeth. They've got the torque. This has the lateral expansion. You can get all the lateral expansion you want out of this right there. All right, that's pulled in. And we build that right off of a wax pattern and put that in the mouth. And I thank you for watching. And you can just work, you can just, it's unreal what you can do with this force right here in the mouth. You can torque teeth and expand them and carry the roots with it as you go. So thank you for watching. I hope you'll be able to learn this from these videos. So we all say goodbye and hope to see you again later.